Hey, good morning, Munchropolis. It's now 5 after the hour of 6 a.m. in the big monster city. Temperature's a balmy 65 degrees, which is good news for you reptiles, and it looks like it's going to be a perfect day to maybe, hey, just lie in bed, sleep in, or simply work out that slab that's hanging over the bed! Get up, Sully! I don't believe I ordered a wake-up call, Mikey. Hey, let's talk more pain, Marshmallow Boy! Feel the bird! You call yourself a monster? Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Oh, the kids away! Okay, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Kids asleep. Twins and a bunk bed. Ooh, I thought I had you there. Okay, Sully, here we go. You ready? Follow me. Oh, it's over here. Oh, look over there. Don't let the kid touch it. Don't let it touch it. And I don't know what it but says. I love scaring kids in bed. Come on, fight this block. Fight this block. Scary monsters don't have block. 180. Do you have 190? Do I see 120? Oh, I don't believe it! I'm not even breaking a sweat. Not you! Look! They knew my little punny Ica Street Girls Legend of Edgar Street movie, Devon's Clip. And that, when she looked down and realized she was wearing purple socks with a burgundy dress! Go, ah! Rarity! It's Scary Spooky Story Mike. Purple and burgundy, darlings! Yes, Sully, put it right Uh, that was a terrifying story. Yeah, I'm terrified she'll try to tell it again. Um, <clears throat> anyone else have a spooky story? I have one, but I'm warning you. You might as well hug a friend now. That's how scary it is. Sully, look Fluttershy and Spike get scared. It's time I told you about the legend of Gaia Everfree. Mike, the guy taught this call on Gaia Everfree, that evil monster. Yes, Sully, Many this call Gaia ago, Everfree. My great-grandparents came to this forest. Seeing its beauty, they decided that it would be the perfect place for a camp. But once they started building, strange things started to happen. One pitch black night, when the wind was howling, a tree branch crashed through the roof of their cabin. They screamed and ran outside, only to see a giant creature rising from the earth. Mike, she look, I've got you for free, like though. Tree. Her mouth had jagged rock teeth, and her eyes were pools of black tar. But her aura shimmered like diamonds. Anywhere she went, she left a trail of gem dust in her wake, trembling. My great-grandparents asked who she was and what she wanted. In a deep and hollow voice, she told them that her name was Gaia Everfree, an ancient spirit who held domain over the forest, and that my great-grandparents Sully, were trespassing yeah, her Everfree land. Sully, Everfree, turn angry. They begged her to let them stay and build their camp, to share this wonderful place with others. Gaia Everfree finally agreed, but warned them that they would not be able to keep it forever. Someday she would return and reclaim the forest as her own. So if you see a trail of gem dust, you'll know that it is... Gaia Everfree! Hey guys! Sorry, didn't mean to scare you! Then why'd you come out of the bushes? I can't believe it. Oh my... I was on TV! Ah, did you see me? I'm a natural! Hello? I know! Hey, wasn't I great? Did the whole family see it? It's your mom. <laughs> what can I say? The camera loves me. Wait, wait, wait! Don't forget to subscribe. If you do, I'll give you a headbutt. That's Ogre for thank you.